Hello everyone and welcome to the Snow Leopard on an Acer Aspire 1 tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do is hit F2 when you boot up your laptop. So now you're going to want to go to the main uh, tab in the BIOS and um, as you can see it's an Acer Aspire 1 but you're going to go to the main menu and you are going to go down to the SATA mode and you're going to hit enter and make sure that it is AHCI because otherwise your, uh, your partition won't be recognized. Then you're going to want to go to the boot menu and uh, you're going to want to make sure that your USB drive which you're using to uh, create the Macintosh system is set as the priority. Then hit F10 to save changes. You're going to want to hit F12 as soon as you boot up to start the tutorial. Um, now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you select the USB drive that has your bootloader. In my case Alexar is the one that has the installer, it's the 8 gig one, so the jet flash is, uh, is the 1 gig one, so that's the one that contains my bootloader. So you're going to select this, uh, this USB and hit enter and you're going to boot off it. And it will boot into a modified version of Chameleon bootloader specially made for netbooks. And uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select the partition that has IACOS S3 version 2. Now I've already um, installed Snow Leopard before um, and it is also in dual boot with Windows 7 and uh, there was no need to repair Windows 7 so just keep that in mind uh, you're probably um, gonna want to check out the series it's on the blogger page which is in the link below in the description so it will boot up with our friendly Apple icon where it will the first thing it's gonna do is is gonna ask us for our language settings and uh, now we are in the installer and uh, as you can see the trackpad works so it's going to select English by default if you're using a different language you can go ahead and select it although I'm going to be doing everything in English so if you are having a hard time you might want to do it in English too so after that you're going to select next or hit enter I'm going to use the cursor uh, and it's going to load the next phase. Now before you do anything, okay, now you are at the install Mac OS X screen and it's going to be using IATCOS. The first thing you're going to want to do is you wanna go, you're going to go to the utilities menu. I hope it isn't as blurry on, this, on your screen as it is on the screen of the camera. I apologize for that but uh, here we'll try it this way so you're gonna go to the utilities menu and you're gonna select disk utility from there it's gonna load all of your disks in one place that shouldn't take long and that includes your partitions now when I partitioned it I actually partitioned it in Windows 7 and then just chose the partition and formatted it so as you can see, I already have Snow Leopard installed, um, but I, I prepared a, a, a separate drive for it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Erase tab up here, and um, we're going to make sure that it is Mac OS X uh, Extended Journaled. Journaled is important because you know if you if you go down, you're going to see there's a whole bunch of options, but by default it does select the right one. So don't worry about that. You can name it what you want. I named it Mac OS X. And then you just hit Erase. And then you confirm that you want to erase it. 
and it will take a, a minute or two to erase it really quick actually the long part is coming however um, so as you can see this is the Acer Aspire 1 and uh, it is model D250 so it is now erased as you can see so what now well we're done here so we can just hit the X in the top left corner you'll notice that as a difference from Windows if you're um, if you're new to Mac OS X then uh, you'll notice that's a little bit different I mean even if you're new to Mac OS X it really shouldn't matter it's very easy to learn very easy to adjust to it's just like Windows just it's Mac alright so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to hit continue and then you're going to get this readme really it's going to give you information but it's not very important um, and then of course you're going to see a whole bunch of partitions now note that every partition that cannot be installed on will have this exclamation mark right now we don't want to install it on Snow Leopard, we want to install it on Mac OS X. So we're going to select that drive, but before you click install, which is down here, you're going to want to select customize. Now the first thing I do is I deselect the bootloader, because I don't think it's necessary. And as you'll see, um, as we progress, it really isn't necessary. Um, so deselect the bootloader and uh, as a consequence the bootloader options are deselected then for patches now don't worry if you can't read everything here I'm going to read out to you the changes to make because it should be the same on all systems and even if uh, I have clearer um, pictures on the website which is in the description which will show you exactly what to install in the series you just follow the series um, so here, there is, uh, what, what you're going to enable here is sleep enabler, because this could be a problem, um, especially in updates later on. So we'll, we'll install that, but other than that, patches you really don't need to touch. It's the drivers where you're going to really need to look at. So because we're, we should be running the same system, it should be the same. If you're installing Mac OS X on a different system, this tutorial is good for you as well. As you can see, it's the same disk, it's the same installation process. It's just that you're going to be selecting different drivers and uh, your system's going to be different. But it will still run Mac OS X and you'll still need to find the kex for whatever is missing. So now, um, the first thing you want to select is the hard drive settings. So essentially, you're going to have AHCI SATA. And um, then for sound, you just let that be. For PS2, which is your keyboard, by the way, you're going to select Voodoo. Uh, for power management, you're going to take Voodoo P state. For laptop hardware, which is what we're running right now, you're going to take all of them except for the last one, which is ACPI Thermal. Uh, you need another uh, setting for that, but really it's not necessary. You just need the battery card reader and PSC Sync. And uh, NTFS 3G, you can ignore that. Uh, then comes the VGA, all right? Um, the Acer Aspire 1 uses Intel. So you can just put a check mark there. Then as for the network, it won't work, mind you. There is a way to get it fixed after the installation. But, you know, we'll install it because that might influence whether or not it's going to work later. But for the moment, um, the wireless is run by Athos. And the wired is either by Intel or Athos. I, I forget, so I'll just install both. It doesn't hurt. And then if you want to have language translations, you can go there, but that's enough for us. 
So I'm going to hit OK. Bottom right corner of that window. So now we've got this set up. And um, now we're going to click install. Now this is going to be the longest part of your journey down Mac OS X. And uh, I'm going to pause this video and return when um, this phase is done or just about done. As it says, it says it's going to take 18 minutes. It actually takes a lot. And, well, it depends on the installation. Um, now you'll notice it's already starting to go. Uh, it's going to go across. It's going to do big jumps, so don't worry when you see that. And um, hopefully um, you should get the install succeeded in the end. But if not, don't worry about it. it it's not a big deal. I'll show you in the end when this installation is done playing with the trackpad and as you can see the mouse doesn't move and there is absolutely no response. You can see that uh, at a certain point in time the installer bar isn't moving at all, it isn't even animating. Now um, I've been patient, I've given it um, some time, about half an hour despite it saying it needed seven minutes and um, at this point I would say that it's safe to uh, pull the plug on this installation. Now you don't need to restart this installation um, unless of course something is really not working then that means that either something went wrong or you, um, or you cut the cord too soon. So don't worry about this. This is safe. I mean I can show you um, that it will work. I mean this is why I'm making the video. Um, so now what you're going to do is, as you can see, I, I'm, I'm playing with the trackpad here and it's not moving. Um, so, yeah, after a bit of patience, it probably is still doing something in the background, but I think that it has um, pretty much timed out. That's not a big deal, though. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the power button and you're going to press and hold it and we're going to force it to restart.